So um, first of all, Happy New Year to everybody. Um, down at the track uh, this week, um, again in the new clubhouse and uh, just to show you how things are progressing um, in the club room or what will be the club room and uh, I'm sure a lot of you will recognise some of the uh, furnishings and fitments from good old Bourne Way. Uh, still a lot of unpacking to be done but uh, as a president who's really never sat in the president's chair, it's good to see that survive the move. We've got the honours boards and uh, even the old price list from the uh, from the bar. And uh, I think in that pile there, is, there's a pictures of Sydney Wooderson and a few more honours boards and things that uh, will need to be unpacked. So I'm uh, just in one of the fitness uh, rooms now. Um, give you a recap on uh, the week's events. It's uh, obviously over the New Year's weekend, it was relatively quiet in terms of uh, uh, organised events going on. But uh, if you look at, uh, say, the Instagram feed, uh, there's a great, uh, there's a couple of great uh, short videos recapping 2022 last year and reflecting on all the great things that happened. Uh, that's well worth, well worth a look. And uh, one of the things that um, I missed, we missed uh, at the end of uh, last year's news was a, a, probably the last uh, club record to fall in the year, which was uh, young Charlie Platt, who, um, who cleared three metres 92 in the pole vault for a, a new under 15 uh, club record uh, back on the 11th of December at Lee Valley. So many congratulations to, to Charlie, a very impressive performance. Be interesting to see how his uh, season goes as we move through the indoor and onto the outdoor season later this year. Uh, so yeah, basically this weekend, I suppose athletic events were confined to park runs. Um, on uh, Saturday, New Year's Eve, we had 55 runners at 26 uh, different locations spread all over the country. So whilst there were a lot of runners uh, re, uh, rehomed, as it were, to the Bromley area over Christmas, it looked like everybody shot away. Uh, I think the furthest person away was probably probably Steve Pearman, who was... Uh, who was up in Dumfries? Uh, Mick Keane in Newcastle wasn't far away, and there was I think there was somebody else who was up in up in Scotland. So um, anyway, people travelling. Uh, we had four firsts, two seconds, and two thirds. So uh, the Sugdens were uh, at Chilton Fields, which is near uh, Stone Market, and, and Katie Sugden was the first lady, and Thomas was the second male. So a good family performance there at Kesgrave, which is uh, close to or it's Ipswich really. Steve Cooper was first. Isla Spink was uh, first at Arbroath. I'm not sure whether Arbroath is further away than Dumfries for the furthest away this week, but it's either her or Steve Pearman at Dumfries. Um, at Bethlehem Royal, Elizabeth Regan was third. Peter Brooks was third at uh, Hobblingwell. And Ashley Pearson was the second lady at Orpington. So, uh, good show. For New Year's Day, I, I, difficult to get consolidated results. Um, but I did notice that basically attendances were down, perhaps not surprisingly, people enjoying a well-earned uh, lie-in. Um, we had at Bromley, there were 11 club runners and highest place was young Libby White, who was in sixth. And Ashley Pearson, I noted, was 20th. And both those, those ladies achieved over 80% age grading, which is a, a very uh, strong performance. Well done, ladies. Uh, John Isaacs was also at, um, at Bromley, not breaking any records this time, but commemorating the 11th anniversary of his first park run here in 2011. So congratulations on that anniversary, John. Um, I was with the Griffins and Bob Thomas over at Riddlesdown, and all I can say about it on New Year's Day was that it was muddy, muddy, muddy. Anyway, there we are. So that's, that's past events, forthcoming events. We've got this coming Saturday, the Kent Cross Country Championships at Brands Hatch. Starts at 10.30. We've got 137 entries, so it'd be uh, across all the age groups. So if you want to come and enjoy a bit of spectating, welcome to see you there. And then uh, moving ahead uh, to three weeks, we've got the South Eastern Cross Country Championships, which will be at Beckenham Place Park. And we've got 157 entries for, um, for that. Um, so that's forthcoming athletics. Um, I mentioned last week Burns Night and the uncertainty as to where that might take place. Uh, it looks like we have a home in now. We're not going to be quite ready to, to do it here. Uh, you'll see in this little clip that follows that, um, that the work is still progressing in the, in the bar and cafeteria area. Um, but the, the, probably the critical thing will be getting some uh, furniture in so we can all sit down and getting the license uh, sorted out. 
So here's a little clip of that. So to close, um, just like to remind you that um, the the track obviously is open here. Uh, the, the toilets and changing room are available. The indoor sports hall is being used. And this week we've started the fitness classes in studios like this one uh, behind me here. Um, and if you go onto the Norman Park website, you can see what classes are available. You can register your interest and then you can, you can book classes. So I would encourage members to, to have a look at that. I'm sure we could all do with a bit of stretching. Probably most of us don't do enough of it. And uh, we've got everybody from familiar names like Jay Galley running courses through to a variety of both yoga and Pilates and Zumba as well. But it's, it's all there on the Norman Park uh, website. Um, and I'll finish up with a little uh, a, a, a snapshot of the, um, of the flyer that we're sending out on that. So that's it for this week. Look forward to talking to you all again next week and telling you how progress is going here and how we did in the Kent Cross Country Championships. Cheers.